Hello everybody, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby, thanks for joining us. Here we are again, it's Monday. Uh, we're live at one and five, and here we are in the craft vault. Vault, vault, vault. Yep, they've given us the keys to the craft vault once again, so we've opened it up, seen what's in there, and we have popped together some perfect partner deals for you over the course of this show so you're going to see um, some amazing bundles uh, the amazing opportunity to pick up some great items with a load of stuff built into those bundles for free so it's going to be a fantastic show we'll get into that in just a few moments time if you haven't already watched today you will not know that we have also launched a code the code is tied in with what's happening on wednesday What's happening Wednesday? Oh, by the way, sorry, I'm um, distracting myself there. I know, I know what's happening Wednesday because I'm about to tell you it's Valentine's Day, right? So we've done a code, 14% 14 off your order with the code Valentine's, V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E-S. So that's cool. I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Who knew tomorrow's Shrove Tuesday? That one totally, all right, he does, totally skipped my mind because we were just chatting. It's like, oh, Shrove Tuesday tomorrow and we were going to potentially do some, have a pancake off a flip off i <laughs> don't want to do that do we that's a bit rude that's a bit rude um but yeah i didn't even realize that so pancake day tomorrow valentine's on um wednesday of course so the code you need not pancakes valentine's is the code 14 percent off your order you can use it across the deals that you've got on the show tonight you can use it across the web usual t's and c's you can't use it on january and february launches can't use it on machines but you can use it elsewhere and it's multi-use too so you use it as many times as you want across the next three days it ends midnight wherever you are on valentine's day and as producer nicola will tell you if you're not quite sure what qualifies just whack it in at checkout and if it works it will work We'll say a few hellos in just a few moments time, but let's say hello to the uh, most important person in the room right now, uh, who is with me for this crafty adventure here in the Craft Vault. It's Mr. Art Attack himself, Craig Laird. Back again, back again for this Craft Vault. As you said, Ben, yeah, perfect pair of nines, why? We're got together. both together. Yeah, yeah. Both together within the Craft Vault, got the key open to the vault where we're going to be, well, having some perfect pairs throughout the show. So, yeah, we're going to have some... Well, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to leave you hanging on just for a moment or two. Maybe you've not quite looked at the website just yet. If you have, you'll already know what we've got coming up, but you can have a look across on the website right now. But, yeah, it's going to be a good show, Ben. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, looking forward to it. Lots of great deals. Loads of you already in watching. We've got Radical Rachel on the socials this evening. Um, and in is Sarah Brown saying, hi again, my crafty friends. Hope you had a great break. Watching you now at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh, so if I don't comment, I've fallen asleep. Apologies in advance. Sending love and hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Good day, mate, you flaming galah. Michael Adams says, good evening, Ben and Craig. Good evening. Uh, Carletta Morris says, hello from Arkansas. Hello. Hello to Jen. He says, uh, good afternoon, Craig, Ben, team and crafty friends. Hi. Rain's in. Saying, I had fun earlier. Thank you, Ben, Craig and everyone at CC. We enjoyed seeing you again, Rain. It was a fantastic craft along. And we enjoyed seeing your cats as well. We saw Oki and, was it Isha? Esha? Esha. Oki and Esha, I think it was. Uh, Meg says, hello, Ben from Ohio. Oh, hello. Ohio. Hello, Lynn, who says, good evening, Ben, Craig, CTV community, and all the CTV team from Newcastle. Well, hello there. What? I said, well, hello there. Oh. I thought you said, ahoy there. Ahoy there. Faye Smith joins us from Virginia. Hello. Hello, Virginia. L Laurie Barnett says, hi, everyone. <laughs> Listening whilst working on my tax junk. Yuck, I'd rather be crafting. I'd rather be crafting too. And Mary Beth Doyle says, hi, everyone from Minnesota. Hi, Minnesota. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm saying hi. All oh, right. It's just the way that you're doing it. It's making me laugh. Hi, Minnesota. I'm saying, I'm saying, just saying hello. Hi, Virginia. Am I ready for some deals then? Let's do it. What was that? What? Sorry, what did you say there? Are you ready for some deals? Uh, we are indeed. Yeah. Let's do it then. Oh. Perfect partners. <laughs> You're just being a bit weird. 
Yeah, I'm not. Right. <laughs> I just imagine. I know this is because you're like. You, you, Maybe it's you, just because I'm leaning over, this is you. yeah. I'm being Hello, Minnesota. Chilled and relaxed. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Chicago. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want some more hellos now so you can do it again. Yeah. Um, but we'll wait. We'll wait. It's time for some perfect partners, so let's do it. Let's do it. We haven't got any more hellos to do yet, so we'll have to wait. Um, Guillotine and card first up. Details coming up on your screen here. Um, I've done some crafty mathematics with this to kind of like work out your freebie here, but we're giving you our small guillotine and then you're going to get three sets of cardstock and it equates actually that you're getting one for free. You're going to get the... I don't like to call this a small guillotine because I don't think it is particularly small. Oh, man. I'll get it out in a minute. It's not a small guillotine because you can... Do you want our one that's... No, it's all right. I've done it now. It's eight. <laughs> the cutting platform. Maybe I should have done. This is great TV, this, isn't it? I tell you what. Were you, were, you match, were you meant to open that one? Was I not meant to? Oh, Tracy's going to tell well, me. It's off, not, well, it's not. It's all right, it's Jake that's here, so no one's scared of Do Jake. Do you know, pass me one over? And I'll put the sticky back down. This is the, not the small one, it's the portable one. Look on the back, you can see a picture of it. Uh, what you've got here is that cutting platform of eight and three quarter inches. I think it's nice to have... I think it's nice to have um, this alongside your big one with the extending arm because this one's going to sit quite nicely. Um, you know, if you are somebody who likes to go and craft away at the caravan, you know, take some crafty bits with you. Um, if you're going to a friend's house, um, what is so lovely about this is you're still going to get that perfect cut each and every time uh, as you would get with the larger one with that blade, of course, which was manufactured thanks to the kind of smarts, if you like, of a sword. Factory. That's where Leanne went to visit. Absolutely, true story. Yeah. True so you, story. True debt. <laughs> true debt. So you're going to get sharp, precise cutting every time, even if you need to cut like the tiniest little sliver off your cardstock. True um, debt. You're going to. <laughs> you're going to. What? Well, you're going to. You're going to get a perfect cut each and every time. Whether you are um, measuring down the bottom or you're measuring at the top, whether you're imperial or metric, you've got your measuring guides there. And also something I think which we don't talk about. That often, because you've also got your little built-in scoreboard there. Cool too. That. So, yeah. so in the guise of being portable, this is brilliant because you can take this away to cut all of your material when you go away. And then you've got your scoreboard built in with your tool there, so you don't even have to take uh, another bigger, bulkier scoreboard with you either. Cool that. <laughs> Um, hi to Natalie James who's joined us. She says, hello, watching from Utah. Hello, Utah. I hope that's the only message I've just seen come through. Um, easy to grip. You've got your built-in, um, you've got you've got your built-in uh, finger guard there too. And then alongside that, if you're going to be using your guillotine, of course you're going to be wanting to cut cardstock. This one we're giving you to free. This one we are giving you for free within the bundle. That is your fabulous fuchsia. All of these beautiful colours. So you're getting 25 sheets in total. Gorgeous, gorgeous linen cardstock. Um, you're getting five colours, five sheets of each, giving you your 25. You are not paying for that within the collection. On top of that, we're also going to give you your luxury linen card from the Bella Luna collection. Tune is back in on uh, Wednesday. True that. <laughs> I am really enjoying uh, Craig this evening. You get, <laughs> you're getting 24 sheets here. Uh, you're getting three of each, so that means you've got, hang on, you've got eight different colours, three of each, there you go, that's how that works out. And then on top of that, within this bundle, you are going to get your Wild at Heart cardstock, Luxury Glitter and Mirror card. This isn't a complete pad, because um, I, I can tell that this has been used because it feels very thin. You will get a full pad of all that beautiful Mirror cardstock, and then on top of that, look at the black glitter. Doesn't really show up. Are you coming in, Jamie? It's like ultra fine, super fine glitter, but it's still, yeah. It looks. Can you see it? No, not really. It, it's ultra fine. It's absolutely gorge. Um, the kind of thing which I think you'll maybe use alongside like your Bella Luna, uh, maybe use it alongside your Cosmic Collection. I mean, how gorgeous is that glitter cardstock as well, by the way? Like, um, 
sort of like chocolate, isn't it? Mm. Kind of, if you like. Mm. Mm. Chocolate. I've had some actually. Um, and you're also going to get um, this beautiful colour as well. Your, yours will all be uh, intact, obviously, and you'll get 20 sheets um, across those beautiful colours. So you pay for that. You pay for the Bella Luna, you pay for the guillotine, and when we give you your fabulous fuchsia for absolutely nothing within the bundle, £36, $44 is the deal. What I will say also, just as we get over to Craig, um, we've had things sell out before we've even got into the show, so if you do see something you like, get it into your basket. And also, don't forget to use that code, get an extra 14% off the price that you're seeing on screen. Um, I won't try and do the maths on that right now because it's been a long day. Right! Ink pads with Craig. Absolutely. True we've got that. Pigment ink pads. True that. We've got <laughs> the pigment ink pads here. So we've got a six piece here. We've also got our circular blending tool with the yeah. two foam heads. And you've also got the 10 pack of replacement foam heads Woo! as well. So when it comes to the pigment ink pads, you're going to get your spring meadow. You're also then going to be getting your oasis. You're also going to be getting your crushed velvet. You're also going to be getting your pink tulip. You're also getting your lemon tonic. And then you're also going to be getting your Bordeaux as well. So that is your pigment ink pads that you can then start to, of course, build up the depth of the colour, start to create that ombre effect. It's a stay sticky ink, so if you want it to come over the top when it comes to your embossing powders, you can absolutely do that. You can still stamp with them when it comes to your Im images and your sentiments. You can blend through your stencils if you want to. And if you are going to be blending through your... Um, stencils then you've got that perfect tool for you you've got your perfect tool being your circle blending tool and you're also going to be getting replacement heads as well so you're going to get 12 of the foam heads and you're going to get one of the blending tools you're going to get all of that for 30 pound or 40 dollars but if you're platinum that's going to come down to 24 pound or 32 dollars but of course when you get to check out on the website you're going to put in Valentine. You to are. And then, of course, activate that further 14% off that bundle there. So, again, that's your pigment, six piece pigment ink pads with the tools as well. £30, $40, or your platinum price, $24 or $32. Do use that code because this is the show where you are going to get discounts and then further discounts on top of that. Um, hey, Beth Baloney says, I'm excited that I might have a new fur baby this weekend. A dog, a female mini Bernadoodle. Oh. So that is a St. Bernard Cross Poodle. Is that right? A Bernard Doodle? Let me know. Oh, also, do let me know who's doing um, Shrove Tuesday Pancake Day tomorrow. Because we were having a discussion about this earlier on, whether or not our US chums do like pancakes mm -hmm. like we do. And I don't know the, the answer to that. Um, so let us know. Now, next deal is the Stash and Stack Storage Box. If you want to pick up this deal, you're going to have to be quick because we have less than 50 of these remaining. And I think once people see what they're going to be getting for this deal, and then they can get their extra 14% off. So that is, isn't it? Uh, uh, I don't know what this out now. 10% would be another... I mean... Hmm. My brain's really working slow tonight. It's in the 14% off this price anyway. £20 or $28, and it works just like this. If you want, Nicola, you can. It's up to you. Um, it's, it's certainly going to come down by another... It's coming down by another nearly £3. It's going to be about 17 Yeah, £17.20. 17 pounds 20. And if you're platinum in the US, it will be 24 and 8 cents. And let me just pop this to the side because what we're doing here is we are giving you some freebies within the bundle. First up, don't need to say too much about this bad boy, do I? The stack and storage um, box. You guys absolutely love this. You are going to get it with all of your dividers that you uh, need to be able to store all of your crafty bits nice and easily. And um, not just craft bits, because we chat about this all the time. And I know so many people who have um, got these for non-craft storage. And, and also, just to say, I've taken all the bits out there. If you don't want all of the slats in there, you can just take them all out. Use that for um, storing other bits and pieces, putting your cardstock in there if you wanted. Um, I always think as well that lid, potentially, you could use for a little like stencil bath. That's a really good idea, actually, yeah. Yeah, you could do. Um, yeah. But, 
but you've got the indentation on there. Or a lap tray. I love that idea. I like that more than the stencil pad. So you can have your lap tray. So you can do what you're doing on it, unclip the sides, go into your actual stack and stash box, yeah. take out what you need, put the lid back on, clip it, and then, of course, just carry on working, blend in, colour in. So, yeah, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, but like we said, this is brilliant for all of your crafting, but I think people have bought these for... Um, like the building blocks. Mm -hmm. People have bought these for, what else people bought, like fishing? Good for batteries. You know, your different size batteries, section them off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and you get all the stuff. So you can compartmentalize it up. It's super tough. You've got that um, indentation there in the lid. So that's why they're just gonna stack absolutely brilliantly for you. Uh, whether you're keeping them in your craft room or whether you're putting bits and pieces in there and you're just popping them away in the garage. Um, they're super tough as well. Sarah always does the, you know, let's check it around a bit and, See just how tough it is. You coming over to catch it? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. What's the microphone? Go on. Oh. <laughs> Go away! I'm trying to be really professional. Why well, you want Netflix? No, I'm not, I'm not. It's gone off. I'm not. Go on. That's a good scene, isn't it? Mm, it's a good one. Salt burn. Salt burn. I don't want to watch that. Yeah, you do. I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't. Not don't watch it with Laura. No, no, not after what I've heard about it. It does not sound like my kind of film. Anyway. It's not my kind of film either, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, you enjoyed recreating the scene that everyone talks about. I did. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's jump on that trend. Yeah. He started it. Anyway, just putting these slats back in. So you get all of those, right? You're paying for the Simon, um, the Simon, Simon stash and stack and storage. <laughs> And if you're getting the floor creations tomorrow as well, you do get a case within that. However, if you decide to go to town and make tons of flowers, this is perfect. Now, you pay for this. Also within this bundle, you're gonna get some of our glitter glue. This is the Precious Pastels collection. Or pastels for you guys stateside. Yep. You're, you're also going to get the glue pens. So you're getting five of the little um, ballpoint glue pens. These are particularly good, I always think, because they come out blue. They're blue glue, aren't they? I'm blue. So these come out glue, so they're really good if you want to use them alongside things like your glitter, for example, or maybe popping down some of your flakes. flakes. But also nice, if you want to do like a little glittery message to somebody on a card, you can obviously write with these. Wait till that blue's disappeared and it goes tacky, then you can pop all of your stuff like your jokes. Stuff down. What? Wait till they go tacky. Your jokes, just like your jokes. Outrageous this, isn't it? Outrageous. Supposed to be, uh, supposed to be perfect partners, isn't it? <laughs> These partners are gonna be splitting up by the end of the show. <laughs> Holly and Phil again. Hey? Nothing. So you've got those three items there, and then for free, we're gonna give you pokey tools. Get a pair of them. You do get two pokey tools. Don't hit people with them. No, you definitely don't want to hit people with them. You're gonna get our craft knife. Not the wibbly wobbly one. This is the uh, craft knife with the straight blade. You're also gonna get with it your replacement blades included in there too. You get five. And then, I mean, these normally come in a packet, but they're separate today. Oh, we couldn't find a packet. You get your four tweezers. Here's a question for Craig or Bagel. Mm -hmm. So four tweezers here, right? Which ones um, do you tend to go for the most? Which is, which is like your go-to set of tweezers that you would use day to day? Honestly, mm. I don't use them. Oh. I don't use tweezers. Right. If you were to use tweezers, which ones would you use in this set? The reverse press tweezers. Those ones. That's some. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what, Nicola, it's so funny, because um, back along last year, I did a bit of crafting over the side of the studio, needed to use some tweezers, and these were the only ones there. And I know what you have to do to work them. But it plays with your mind, doesn't it? It's just so weird. Yeah, yeah. You, your brain can't, because I would 
I mean, that's sort of like your standard set of tweezers there, isn't it, I guess? Mm -hmm. So you're obviously squeezing to grab. Yep. Could I get my brain around these? <laughs> Could I, Eck? Um, but th these are quite good, these ones, actually. Perhaps if you're someone who's got dexterity issues and you find it hard to keep a squeeze on the tweezers, then these will be the ones that you go for because you just simply squeeze, grab the item that you want, boop, and look, and then you don't have to worry about squeezing them again. So it's absolutely brilliant for doing that. Um, but yeah, it's over to you with that. Whichever ones you want to use, you've got four to choose from, um, and you're getting them for free within the bundle alongside those pokey tools and your knife. 20 quid or just over $17 if you're a platinum member and use that code Valentine's, V A L E N T I N E S. Uh, but you must do it before end of play Wednesday. Right, few comments coming through. Oh, I'm going to just turn off my Netflix. <clears throat> um, tomorrow is Mardi Gras, says Susie T. Yes. Yes. Mardi Gras. Best, we should get some what? Oh, we should get some beads, says Nicola. Uh, because... What? What? Kind of beads. You should get some beads if you do what? Oh, yeah, you should get... Oh. An, I don't know what we're talking about. Beaded necklaces. Oh, no, I do know what we're talking about. Let's not talk about that. Sarah says, I love a good pancake. I like mine with mixed berries, chopped nuts and maple syrup. Um, yeah, what are you put on your pancakes, everyone? Let us know. Susie D says, I think every collection should come with this box. And Sandra says, Ben, you can also stack them on planter trolleys. Mine have two stacks of 14 on. There you go. Mm -hmm. True that. <laughs> True that. Um, what's going on your pancake? What's going on your pancake tomorrow? Uh, see, see I, I like syrup. Syrup? Syrup, mm. yeah. What, like, um, like maple syrup or like golden? Or golden syrup, yeah. Golden syrup. Syrup, yeah, I like, I like the sweet of the syrup. Yeah, I like that, mm. I like that. I'm not, obviously, I'm not a fan of chocolate or that. Mm, strawberries and que cream has just come to mind. Uh, yeah, strawberries and cream. Mm. I'm not massively bothered about pancakes, I've got to be honest with you. I'm not either, no. I might go for more of like, um, if I was going to have one, I think I'd go more savoury, like a crepe. You know, like a bit of cheese in there, maybe like oh, cheese and yeah. ham. Because yeah. you can, that could still be a pancake, right? Of course, of course it when could. is a pancake a pancake? When is a pancake a crepe, and when is a crepe a pancake? Cre crepes, crepes are thinner, are they? <laughs> yeah, crepes are a lot thinner. Ah, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. As I say, not overly fussed, but I know one person in our household will definitely want to have pancakes. Daisy. Well, she actually likes pancakes. Yeah, and she'll want to do it herself as well. She likes to make it, and then she gets me to do the. The tossing. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. So I'm quite good, actually, at that. Oh, it's a shame you're not in tomorrow, because we could have had a competition. We were talking about that. Genuinely, we were looking to... Do you want me to come to in for an hour or so? Huh? Do you want me to come in for an hour no, or so? No, you can't. Yeah, no. I know it's not your day after because you've got prep to do, haven't you? you better not, I better not finish that one. No. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll do something. Maybe I'll, get, uh, maybe I'll have a pancake race with Debbie, Debbie Robinson. Then? Yeah, she'll, do, she'll, she'll have a pancake race, mm -hmm. won't she? Yeah, we'll do that. Curtle. What? Stick to the ceiling or something. What's that? Deb Debbie being Debbie. Oh, she Debbie's will probably stick to the ceiling oh, or yeah. something. I've no doubt. Yeah. We'll film, we'll film something. We'll, we'll, let's, let's all set reminders for each other so that tomorrow we can come in and uh, have that pancake race. Round the car park or something. Like with um, obstacles to run around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. While you're tossing. Y yeah. But you have to do... Yeah. Because... And then if you drop it, then you have to go back to the start and start again. Uh, yeah. We used to do a big pancake uh, competition in Aylesbury when I was at my last local radio station and like, businesses would come out for the, I don't know, half hour in the morning and you'd have like the, the race, like a relay race back and forth across the market square whilst people were tossing the pancakes. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's get on to the next deal, uh, which is with Craig. Oh! What a deal on the pop-out scene kit. We just used this as well the other day. Remember on Friday, this was the one that I used when it came to the Masterclass in the Layout Collection. So if you want to grab your hands on this, you can do. You can take advantage, of course, of that 14% off when it comes to the promo code or checkout being Valentine's. So you've got your straight end tape runner. So you've got your, uh, the OG, of course. When it comes to the OG, it's still the exact same adhesive within the new tape runners. It's just the... 
re new tape runners are uh, fillable, refillable, but you've got your 22 metres in legs. So use it to do your mats and layers, construction, use it for your flakes, use it for your glitters, of course. You can still use it for all of those mediums. But what you're also getting is the craft kit, the pop-out craft kit. So for those of you that used to collect these, if you want to know the number, the number of this one here was 38, and you've got over 200 elements. Now, again, if you did see the actual masterclass on Friday, you'll know exactly kind of the main dies, what it consists of. But when it comes to a craft kit, even if you've got this one at that price today, seriously consider about going for it again. You've got all the card blanks, you've got the envelopes as well. You've got your four by six card blanks and envelopes. You've got your five by seven card blanks and envelopes. You've got your six by six card blanks and envelopes as well. You've got your 100 perils within the brown, the yellow, the blue. You've got your satin ribbon as well when it comes to the uh, yellow, the blue, and also the brown. But then you've got all of your pattern papers. So you've got your pattern papers, but show you the block ones to start with. Really, really good for the guys with this color here, because you've got your tans, your yellows, your blues, your creams, and also your brown. Eight by eight in size, uncoated. And then what you've also got is you've got all of the pattern papers as well. So a variety of different pattern papers in the same color tones as the blocker card that I just showed you there a moment ago, but you've got all of those also being eight by eight in size, also uncoated, so you can ink and you can spritz. All of them come within the envelopes here, so don't discard them, use these, because if you chop them up, these could be pattern paper, mats and layers as well for your card. So always use them, keep a hold of them to use them. But then what you've also got is you've actually got the pop-out die. So that's what's going to create the pop-out concept within the middle. But use your circular nest and die that I done on Friday's masterclass. That's going to take it out of the card. And then, of course, you can then use it with all your different card fronts. You can use it with your, t your uh, well, you can use it with your template library, but we're using it with the layout collection is the way that I showed you. And with each die set, you've got stamps that work in conjunction with each of the pop-out scenes as well. So that's over 200 elements that you're getting in there. The dies, you're getting the stamps, you're getting the embellishments as well. You're getting the eight by eight pattern papers, the eight by eight card block as well. You've got the ribbons. Then you're getting all of your card blanks as well. All of that, plus you're getting your tape runner. Remember your tape runner would be about, it's about 4.99 or so that your tape runners are. So you're getting that as well. So all of that being the perfect pairs together, you're yeah. going to get for 15 pound or mm. 15 dollars but if you're uh, platinum that's then going to come down to 12 pound or 12 dollars taking off that further 14 percent at checkout within the promo code I put in valentine's put that in capitals and then you'll get a little bit more but even on that saving on the today's price you've got 30.98 saving or nine dollars 95 as well so as I say, if you have already got this craft kit, it's certainly worthwhile considering going for another one. Those dies you can gift or give to charity or just pass on. You've got all the papers, the card blanks, embellishments to keep using time and time again, Ben. Um, thank you, everybody, for all the lovely comments. It is our perfect partner show. We're also talking pancakes, because, of course, we can. Um, I like yoghurt with my pancakes, says Dawn. A bit unusual. And I love cheese blintzes. What's a cheese blintz? Cheese blintz. I don't know what it is, but it's got cheese in it, so it must be awesome. Uh, nee Connie says, pancakes? Me love them. Love mine with fresh blueberries in the batter. Then splattered with butter and sprinkled with sugar. Mm. Yummy for me. A diabetic, it says with some laughing emojis. Uh, and Pat says, hi everyone from New Jersey. I joined in watching Ben and Craig throwing these stash and stack boxes around. Sounds like it's going to be a funny show. It is going to be one of those shows. I feel like, um, yeah, it is. And we've still got another hour and a half to go. Uh, don't forget, don't forget, we are going to be bringing you more deals in just a few moments' time. You've got that code, Valentine's, which you can use to get an extra 14% off. So make sure you're blooming use it, and we will come back with you in about four minutes' time with some more Perfect Partner Deals. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, 
exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. I think I've always been a little bit crafty. Um, I used to craft when I was very young. And I say craft, I used to take a needle and a cotton and sew all my own clothes, tie dyeing and things like that. South Yorkshire is a gorgeous place. Barnsley in particular, I love. It gets a lot of flack, but it's a really beautiful, picturesque place to live. Especially because there's lots of green places around there, lots of lovely um, parks and things like that. But it is a gorgeous place to live. So the people who inspire me, well, the people who inspire me most, especially into craft, was my Auntie Jean, who's no longer with us, but I give her always a big shout out because she absolutely introduced me properly into the uh, passion of paper crafting. I followed Craig for a long time before he actually joined Crafters Companion, and I always loved his style. I used to follow his blogs, his, you know, all these things that he used to do on Facebook and all the various companies that he used to work for. And then I absolutely felt honoured when he joined our team. You know what's lovely about having all this amazing team from Craig, Jan, uh, Debbie, Michelle, Becky. Have I missed anyone? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I have, but it's lovely because they're, they're like-minded people. We love and passionate about craft, especially crafters companions. So for me, having that lovely team um, is just phenomenal and I wouldn't be without them literally every single day. I have a, a big love affair that has been going now for 40, let's get this right, 40, one years with a certain group called Books Fizz, or as they are now known, The Fizz. When I got that phone call, well firstly, I had the email saying, would I like to come and join? And I used to work in the Crafters Companion store, I was assistant manager there. But when I got that email, I thought at first, is this a joke? Because I had to check, was this a joke? Uh, but when I actually went for the interview and went through the process, when I got that phone call from Laura, to tell me that they had wanted me on that TV team. That, for me, to date, is the biggest, proudest moment I've ever had working for Crafters Companion in the six years that I've been here. Welcome back, everybody. There is lovely Debbie, who is... Just so everyone knows, it's just bounce between the two of us. Mm. Thanks. What well, you got? Are you your... Cheers. We could do a stone cold stunner, you know, when with the beer. Better not <clears> spoiling <throat> hot, so yeah, we get not. scolded. Yeah, we should do it with the beer. We, we should, should do it with the beer. Sometime, time. Yeah. we should definitely do that. What? Why? Why not on air? Yeah, why, why can't not? we do it on air? Yeah, next producer. Yeah. yeah. Jamie says not on air, but we are all saying yeah, we're going to do it on air. Do it on air. That's a really good cover, that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Craig likes his tea. Um, no milk. Yep. Um, weak. Weak. Two, Two sugars. sugars. Ben like likes his coffee. Strong. With a lot of milk. No sugars. Mm. That is a very, very nice cuppa. There mm. you go. I do like a cup of tea occasionally, but I just don't drink it very often. No. See, if I had tea... Mm, if I had... No. I was about to say, if I have coffee at this time, it would probably keep me awake. I don't know if it would. But now? Yeah. Maybe I tend not, to drink actually. tea when I go home in the evening. After I've had my dinner, I'll have a nice cup yeah. of tea. You see, technically, I'm still last show of the day. I'm now thinking it's half past six. Oh, yeah. When it's actually only half past four. Or half past five, sorry. Mm. But, yeah. It's all discombobulated. Yeah, discombobbed. Uh, yum, says Susie T. Love blueberry pancakes with butter and syrup. That, that's the chat tonight. Pancake chat. What's, Pancake. What's on yours? PTV, yeah, so the CTV. Uh, Dawn Valley says, I've just used my Valentine's code. Ooh, what did you use it on, Dawn? Ooh. Let us know. And she can use it again, can't she? She can use it again. <gasps> oh, yeah, Dawn, it's not just the one code. You can keep, just use it again. And 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 again. Let us know how many times you've used your Valentine's code today. We'd love to know. Again. Next up, paper storage boxes. 
Now, the deal here works out that you're going to get five storage boxes and 30 dividers. So you're getting three packs of the 10 dividers. It works out that you're getting 20 of the dividers for absolutely nothing. Free, nada, zip, nout, zilch. So five of these you will get. They come flat, so you just have to basically pop them together. Quite simple to do. But what's quite nice about these is, A, if you love to store your papers, that way you can. If you want to store them this way, you can. I know some people uh, like to have them that way, so it's easier access to all of the papers out the front of the box. But it's entirely up to you. These will store, um, I think it's 500 sheets of your 12 by 12 paper. Um, so the fact that you're getting five of these, two and a half thousand sheets of paper, it's just a nice way to keep them all together. And the fact that you're then going to get your tab dividers too, you can label things up so you can um, store these by style, you can store these by colour, you can store these by theme, you can store these by collection, it's entirely up to you. You get the little tabs on there as well, so again you can label all of those up and simply pop those inside your um, storage boxes. Um, the other thing that's quite nice about these two, not only are they capacious in their ability to be able to hold uh, a whole host of your papers, but I like the fact that they are white. Mm -hmm. So you've got the ability to um, have a bit of crafty fun with these if Pretty you want. Good. Whether you wanted to, you know, colour them in, whether you wanted to, um, whatever you wanted to do with them. Make them look exactly how the rest of your craft room looks so you can make them style in with your decor. It is entirely up to you. But you'll get five of them. You'll get 30 of the dividers and as I said it works out that you're getting 20 of those for free look at that saving 29.98 or 39.98 platinum price is 23.18 or 30.38 and then you're going to use your code of course don't shop this show tonight and not use the code because you'll be missing out on a serious trick because it's multi-use if you're thinking oh I'll save it for later in the week you can use it tonight and then use it again but make sure you do it before Wednesday, end of play Wednesday is when the code disappears, but multi-use it. If you buy anything off the show tonight, use the code to get your uh, discount off it. Um, <laughs> B on YouTube says, you don't drink tea very often, Ben. What is wrong with you? One cup or an hour is the minimum required. I just, I find like coffee like perks me up a little bit more. Tea sort of... I like tea of an evening because it's like a cup of tea sort of makes like me relaxing, get ready for bed. Isn't it? Tea's to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee is to give you that oomph. Yeah. The oomph. The oomph. Yeah. So that's the reason why. Um, but yeah. Right. Next deal over with Craig. What? What the? Mm hmm. What the? Mm hmm. And. We're in single figures, guys. What the? I'm just letting you know about this one. So I'm going to tell you just in a moment how many we've got left. But what I am going to tell you, first of all, this is what you're paying for. So you're going to be paying for your ornate outer box, which is going to enable you to make something like that. But you can, Ben, if you want, you can do a four side, five side, six side, eight side, or a 10 side. You can do a few more as well, just mm. by using the template that you've got. So that's the sort of thing that you can be making with that die set there. So that's what you're paying for. And for no additional cost, what you're then going to be getting is your red liner tape. So you're going to get your six mil in with red liner tape. Now in total, you've got your 10 meters there. So that's ultra strong there, good for heat embossing, construction, obviously your glitters, your foils, that's in there. But then what we're also going to be giving you is your 250 GSM rose gold luxury cardstock. So you've got in total 24 sheets, 12, which is that pearl of the rose gold and 12, which is the shedless glitter. That's worth 20 quid on its own. So all of that, that and that, you're going to be 20 pound or $30. You're saving 22.77 or $28.89. If you're platinum, it comes down to 16 pound or $24, minus 14% uh, by putting in that promo code. But we are limited stock. Screen on the screen, which means... It soon won't be seen! Absolutely. This is going to be the last opportunity, I think, that you're going to see this little bundle that we've got here. So keeping in mind, on that price there, on that today's price, that is worth $19.99. So just thinking about it, well, if you want it to be completely accurate for a penny, 
you're going to be getting your 12 by 12 and your red liner uh, tape as well. So you're getting all of that platinum price, £16 or $24. But as I say, please do remember, put in promo code VALENTINES to get a further 14% off as well. I've done the maths as well, as well for you on my calculator. 1376 platinum. 1376. Mm, or 2064. Or 2064 for you guys stateside. Wow. If you put in VALENTINES. Valentine's. Must <laughs> that. Valentine's. It's the sort of thing you can make. Cute. Yeah. How cute's that? True that. True that. True that. <laughs> right. Next up. I think I've just worked out how to do. Yeah, I have. I've worked out how to do the maths on it. How? Huh? Well, because like, the next item, we're speaking up the deal for the next item. The multimedia jigsaw die, so it's twenty pounds, so fourteen percent off that. So one percent would be uh, twenty. Mm -hmm. So it's fourteen. So two times that is uh, two pound eight. Lost Twenty-eight, one. two pound eighty. So that would be then seventeen twenty. Mm. That's pretty good for this time of a night on a Monday as well. It is. With the day I've had, what a day! What kind of day have you had? Oh, what a day! Hey, God, man, what a day! I feel like it's been quite a busy day today. I feel like, you know, we've, um, we've yeah, we've done a bit more. I, I filmed another episode of Mosby's Makes in between shows. When's that going to go live on your website, on your website, on your YouTube? I think, when are we putting it up, Nicola? We're going to maybe put it up tonight. Oh. We're going to try for tonight. But I, I did a card from scratch. It's not necessarily as good as my first one, but we had a laugh. The producer Johnny came in and watched it, and he's green-lighted us to do another one. He actually said, what was his exact words? What did he say? It's something like, that was a really canny watch, like. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Uh, there you go. That. Yeah. All a bit of fun. Amber says, I'm eating beans with toast. Yummy. Oh, beans on toast. Nice. <gasps> You're a big fan of beans on toast, Oh, you? yeah, I like beans on toast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I like beans on toast. Mm. Comfort food, isn't it? It is comfort food. That was some... Um, a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Beans cup of on tea toast and, and a cup on of toast. tea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Multimedia jigsaw die um, with your mount board. 67.98. This is on its own 50 quid or 40 bucks for the die, right? You're paying 20 pounds or 28 dollars platinum for this and the mount board included. It's so good. It's it's um a multimedia die, so it's going to cut through all of your um, different materials for you as well. There's the size of it. It's the abstract one as well, this one. It's going to create you that 44-piece puzzle um, with those abstract shapes. And as I said, the brilliant thing about this is, is you've got the ability then to be able to um, print off uh, photos, potentially, that you've uh, already got. Maybe, and I always love Sarah's example with this, maybe you've got kids who, um, or grandkids who are doing their own paintings and doing their own drawings, and um, you want to be able to create their own jigsaw puzzle out of their uh, makes, then you've got a, an easy way to be able to do it, because we give you the die, and then we give you 20 sheets of your mount board as well, so perfect partners in the fact that that is the size that you want for the die in question here. Um, and then you're away, you know, you can create your own boxes if you want to do that too, to pop your puzzles in. I just think that um, it's a great way for you to be able to use the photos up that you've got maybe on your phone and your tablet to create really kind of unique and bespoke gifts for the family. But also, potentially, if you are someone who makes to sell, think about how much you could charge for a personalised jigsaw puzzle for somebody. Make the boxes. Um, you know, get the person to potentially bring in a photo. You could print it off, couldn't you? And then create a beautiful puzzle for them. Um, and as I said previously, I know how much these things could cost. So for the price of £20 or $28, if you were going to the same place that I went to, you've already made double your money back by the time you've made one jigsaw. That's True the that. kind of thing. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. But listen, if you just want to be able to create really cool jigsaw puzzles for yourself, for the family, then you've got it right there. 44-piece um, jigsaw puzzle, it will cut out for you, and you've got your 20 sheets of your mount board as well. Just bear in mind that the die itself is normally £50 or $40. You're getting that plus the mount board for £20 or $28. Do you know what you do, Ben? You get something like popcorn kernels or broccoli, something like that. Peas. Lay them down. Peas, beans, yeah, beans, Grass. beans. Good for your heart. Um, 
get them, spray them out on the, the counter, that, take a picture, yeah. print it out, add it to the mount board, and then give it to that, like, you know, that grumpy uncle or yeah. that annoying brother or sister or... Or just cut straight into the mount board. Or just cut straight into the mount board, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun though, right? That would be quite fun. That would be quite fun. Mm. That would be. Um, anyway, that's the deal. What's your next deal, Craig? My next deal is all about the animals. Now, when it comes to the price, essentially, what you are paying for are your Tri-Blends Floral Blend. You're going to be getting your Pride and Joy Animal Edgeable and also 16-pack of your Nina cardstock, which is the perfect cardstock to do your alcohol colouring. Essentially, that is kind of what covering with that price today. £30.40 with a platinum price of £24 or $32. And then, no additional cost, you're going to get another pack of your tri-blends, this one being the coastal blends, and you're also going to get another pack of the animal edgeable, being the cat and the dog. So essentially, you're going to be getting them for free. So what you're paying for are your tri-blends coastal blend, or floral blend. So that's your six pens. Now within each pen, it's one color family, three different shades, but really in total, you're getting 18 different colors. So you're paying for that. You're paying for your Nina cardstock, 16 sheets, and also your pride and joy when it comes to the animal edgeable. So that's what you're paying for. And for no additional cost, essentially, what you're going to be getting for free is another pack of the animal edgeable stamp and dies with the cats and the dogs, and another pack of your tribal which are the coastal blends. So once again, six pens, six colour families, but then within each pen, each colour family, you're going to get three different shades. But if you want to break it up, that's 18 alcohol pens in total, or 36 by the time that you team that with, of course, the floral tri-blends. So you're going to get all of that, £30 or $40. If you see that saving there, you're saving $28.95 or $44.95. Even better if you're platinum, because then it comes down by 20% to £24 or $32. But even better, because you're going to put in that promo code at checkout being Valentine's. Just get to the checkout.co.uk.com.eu. Put it in, you're going to come down by another 14%, Ben. So you win, are. Win. Share Did the love. What? Share the love. Share the love, you perfect partner, you. Um, feel free to fire any more questions and comments. Yeah, uh, questions. You want questions? Yeah. About what? Uh, what's the meaning of life? <laughs> uh, yes, no, no any, any crafty questions, right? anything you want to ask, anything you want to check, then, you know, fire them across. Mm. Or anything you want to ask me and Craig, per se, about yeah. anything? Any question you've always wanted to ask but have been too scared to, feel free to ask. There are no silly questions, correct. Next up, multimedia nesting dies. We have the triangles here. These, <laughs> these um, are coming to you for an amazing price because the dies alone 25 pounds or 40 dollars and you are paying 12 pounds or 20 dollars for the dies and some acetate and sequin that's good true that that's good you're going to get seven dies in total and you can see the sizes of these going up incrementally that's a great word that's a really good word can you read the size of those there? Because I can't. Me? Mm. Yeah. So you're going to get from the smallest is mm. one inch, mm. 1.7 inch, mm. 2.4 inch, mm. into 3.1, into 3.8, mm. into 4.5, into a 5.2. And these, of course, multimedia, so they'll cut through loads of different materials for you. We'll cut through up to six pieces of your fabric in one fell swoop. Really? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mount board? Mm. Chipboard? Mm -hmm. Hessian? Mm -hmm. All of that as well? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bunting you could do? Mm -hmm. Chewed out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could do um, patchwork? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Chewed out. And also, uh -huh. you're going to get 25 sheets of your... Get a <laughs> What? Get a That what? as well? Yeah. So you're going to get that. So, obviously you look at that and think, so, uh, Soft crap. <laughs> but you've got the acetate there, so you can make your own shakers. True that. <laughs> <laughs> make your own little shakers. 
And when you um, talk about this for a second, so here's a question. What's the difference between this acetate to say something like, oh, heat resistant acetate? What can I do with this? Can I stamp on it? Yeah, you need a heat emboss. Mm. But yeah, you can do. The colour it? Of course you can. Alcohol pens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure that alcohol pens are like your acrylic marker or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's all the questions I had to ask, really. But that, although it's A5, that is mm. your construction weight, mm -hmm. so it's good for construction. Of course, you're limited when mm. it comes to the size, but you can still do it for your acetate fronts and that if you want to. And then you're also going to get sequins. Is that, is that excess from the Mermaid Dreams? Mm -hmm. So if you want to stock up... Why not? For 12 quid? I know. Seven multimedia dies, 25 sheets of acetate and sequins. Absolutely bonkers, is that? That's mental. And it is. And 12, I'm trying to do the math on that. 12 pounds, 20 dollars. So you're going to save another. Uh, I can't do that. 1 pound 20. 1 pound 20. 12, 24, 36, 40. 1 pound 68 coming off that. That's good. Mm. That is good. It is good. And another 2 dollars 80 coming off the price. So 17 dollars 20. And it's going to be 10 32. Really nice. Mm -hmm. You better run because you've got to go and do a deal over there. Watch that wire though. That will do. <laughs> Next. Oh, I know, I got that reference. Um, Rachel just messaged saying, when Craig was saying, talk about the meaning of life, uh, 42 you've messaged. And yeah, I got that reference. Meaning of life is 42, according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, written, of course, by Douglas Adams. Right. Next up, we've got something essential in the world of flower forming. We do indeed. Now keeping in mind the ball tools, so the three ball tools with the six ball heads and that foam, that's or that sponge foam mat, that is worth £14.99. It's worth £14.99 but you're going to get everything for £20 or $30. You're saving over 50% when it comes to this bundle. You're going to get it all £16 or $24. That is before you take off that Valentine's 14% Code. So you're going to get the sponge, you're also going to get the three ball tools with the six ball heads. You're going to get your finger toboggan for you to do all the distressing. You're also going to get one, no you're not, 400 wow. of your metallic stamens. So you're going to get your metallic pink, metallic gold, metallic silver. We're also going to give you, you another 400 of your white stamens so you can colour them in a multitude of different colour and mediums. We're then going to be giving you 12 sheets of your 9x12 flower formant foam. So that is from the set with flower, so that's your heat activated flower formant foam. Then also from the vintage rose, you're getting your 9x12 12 sheets of your flower form and foam. So within that one, you're getting your three colours. You're getting the red, you're getting the pink, and you're getting the green. And when it comes to the set with flowers, you're getting the pink, the red, you're getting the green, and you're also getting the tan as well. So you're going to be getting your 12 sheets. You're going to be getting your 12 sheets. You're also then going to be getting 400 white stamens. You're getting 400 of your metallic stamens. You're also getting your finger petal distressor tool. So your two elements in there, and you're also getting that four pack there. Your sponge mat and your three ball tools, which are giving you the six ball heads there. 20 pound or 30 dollars, that on its own is worth 15 pound or 14.99. So that whole bundle there, you're saving 50%. If you're platinum, that's then going to come down to £16 or $24, minus off that 14% when it comes to the Valentine's code as well. Just to say, when it comes to the ball tools and that, you can still use them with card and paper, start to shape the flower, shape the petals. If you're going to be getting the floral creations die sets that's going to be launching tomorrow with Debbie and Ben, then you can start to shape them for that as well. So you've got that option to really really good set maybe you've not tried doing things such as flower form and just some flower dyes once tomorrow or any within your stash of course then you can start to cut and start to get created when it comes to the flower spin question yes from kendall yes craig how do you make it when you cut out a die and attach it to acetate so that you can paper piece and how do you also color it instead to make it look like a stained window Good question. So popping it onto acetate, what I would do is, so essentially we're thinking of an outline die, uh, uh, one that you can paper piece. So I would put our double-sided adhesive sheets on the back of our cardstock. So put the double-sided adhesive sheets onto the back, then of course die cut it. Peel the backing off, because then that makes it sticky, the die cut, 
and then you can stick it onto your acetate. You're not going to see any residue. And then you can then just do your paper piece in. Paper piece non to acetate, I personally would use a tacky glue. Just infill all of the little lock areas and then just pop my paper piece in pieces back in. When it comes to stained glass window effect, I would do exactly the same. So I would take my die, put my double-sided adhesive sheets onto the back, die cut it, stick it onto the acetate. I would do that twice, but what I would do is stick the first one onto the acetate, colour in all of the areas that I want to then colour in. Now, of course, you'll get some of your alcohol pen marks on the outline of that die cut piece. So therefore, take the second one that you've done overlay over the top that's going to make it nice neat and tidy you're going to have that lovely colored stained glass window effect but the outline of the die is going to be nice and pristine because you've stuck another layer over the top hopefully that helps marvelous thank you for all the positive chat as well b says the people in this chat really are the most lovely kind group of people <clears throat> i've only been around for a few weeks but the support everyone offers to everyone else is really quite lovely uh, it's really really lovely such a really really great community mm. such a lovely group as well it's always lovely when you hear things like that when mm. it comes to all of you guys chatting away and that's it and you know what we all started somewhere didn't we and i think it's great that you feel that you can pop up your makes and whatever mm -hmm. you, you, you've done and you know you'll get positivity from uh, from everyone which is marvelous uh, and sarah muir says since the schedule changed i haven't been able to join as much uh, but i watch all the shows back because crafters companion are awesome and i know i'm only just under two months old here but thanks for all you do i have fun well sarah that is the main thing and we appreciate um your lovely comment uh thanks everybody for joining us on the show we have got one more deal to show you and then um let's go round again we're going to go round the deals for you if you have just joined us uh this final deal is the tricolor aquas um with essentials Th these are brilliant right i think it's the same with um like your tri blend pens for example like you've got your one pen with the three um sort of shades of that one color so it really gives you the opportunity to try out alcohol coloring with um you know without a huge amount of expense but um the tricolor aquas are three pens that you're going to get watercolor pens of course so you're going to um you know, do all of your watercolor techniques with these ladies down your glass mat create palettes mix up all of the different colors but you've got within each pen three complementing colors i suppose really which will um work beautifully with each other of course once you pop these down and you've added your water to them you can create all of the different um shades if you like of the colors but think about all the different colors that you've got there that you can mix and kind of experiment with within this set this is your floral meadow you have got your uh, bright floral with these three colors you've then got your warm fiery and then you've also got your uh, floral meadow in there with all of your different greens so Yes, three pens, but nine colours you're going to be getting there in total. Then on top of that, we are going to give you this fantastic stamp. This is called the Effortless Chic, and it came from the Natural Beauty Collection. Um, so that one is included within the bundle. Alongside that, and again, it's nice that we've uh, popped this together, because, of course, if you're using your um, aqua markers, you're going to make sure that if you're stamping, you've got a waterproof die, um, and we've got that as far as your finesse is concerned here. So this one you're going to use alongside anything you're doing when it comes to your um, water. And this one is flagstone, all right? So that one is included within the bundle. And on top of that, if you're stamping and then colouring with these, the best cardstock you can do it with, of course, is your watercolour. And that's what we're also popping into the bundle too. So 15 sheets of your watercolour cardstock is included. Look at the saving that you're making there as well. So £16.95, $20.37. I know this is called like a tricolour aqua essentials kit, but I actually think that's almost like, you know, we do explorer kits on um, when we've done, uh, what show is that on? Monday Makers, isn't it, in the past? I think that's almost like an explorer kit. I think it's great because you've got a little bit of everything, the ability to um, have a bit of a play, see how much you love working with our aqua markers and then come back and get more because I know that you will. £20 or $28 is the platinum price on that. And of course, you're going to use your code VALENTINES to get you an extra 14% off your order. T's and C's apply with that, all right? You can't use it on January, February launches and you can't use it on machines. However, you can use it right across this show. So I would encourage you to do so. And if you think to yourself, oh, I don't want to waste it because I might want to use it later in the week, do it. If you're shopping on the show, use it 
because it's a multi-use code. So you can use it tonight, you can use it tomorrow, you can use it right through Valentine's Day on Wednesday. Um, so lots of opportunities to shop and use that code. Just whack it in at checkout. It's Valentine's, V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E-S. If you've just joined us, welcome. We are in the craft vault. Vault, vault, vault. And it is our perfect partner deals. Deals, 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 deals. Um, and we are going to show you those deals once again over the course of this next hour. So if you have just joined us, uh, welcome along. As I just mentioned a few moments ago, you've got your Valentine's code there, of course, as well. Um, so do make sure that you use that over the course of the show. Keep the comments coming through too. We uh, appreciate all of your comments. Nice to read all the positivity coming through. Anything you want to chat to us at, what you're doing for Valentine's Day, what projects have you made for Valentine's? What are you doing for um, Pancake Day, potentially? Um, what else can we chat about tonight? What projects are you working on? If you want to send in any pictures, you can do that as well. We would love to see what you're, um, you're working on as far as uh, pictures are concerned. As always, feel free to send through pictures of your pets because we love um, pet pictures. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk if you want to send through any pictures um, thank you Nick Connie as well he says thank you Craig and Ben it's always a great time with you two of course made possible by the entire team behind the scenes thank you right what are we doing next that is the question um, I think maybe oh ah uh, what are we doing we are we're going for a break break uh, we're going to have a quick break, give you opportunity to get those baskets checked out. And when we come back, we will do some more. But here is a little video which will tell you a bit about Sheena. My dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type the old printer's type. So he used to bring home offcuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of offcuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know? It could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. It, if it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers, and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things, new things a try. And mostly, any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I've found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the big achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, I mean, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. But it hasn't, you know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still, my hair colour. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a really natural hair colour. Dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Window, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes. Go figure. I did worry for a while I was going to turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. Ooh, 
Welcome back, everybody. There she is, Warshina, who's back with us on Wednesday for... A, we've got a masterclass with Sheena on Wednesday and then also Beautiful Beginnings, everybody's favourite show, um, because we will be bringing back Essentials Corner for that couple of hours, so that'll be fun. Remember, new schedule, we're live at 1 and 5. So I uh, hope you can join us Wednesday. Tomorrow, Debbie Robinson is back in the building. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The Barnsley Bombshell will be here. She has got a craft along and also... We have got the launch of that Floral Creations collection, which I've got a funny feeling is going to be uber popular. Make sure you uh, get up early. Well, you don't have to get up as early now, do you? Well, I suppose you do if you're shopping on the website. Get up early, set your alarms, get in, use that um, ability to get up early, get in nice and quickly and grab your deal. And then, of course, you can join us for uh, the launch tomorrow and sit back and relax and take all of the inspiration. Right, we're up to date as far as the, um, the comments are concerned. So we're going to get over to Craig. He has got a deal on some um, pigment ink pads. It's really good, actually. It, you're getting the pigment ink pads and your tools. It works out within the bundle that you're actually getting one of the pads and all of the tools for free. Um, but we thought, as soon as you had a bit of time, you'd have a little bit of a play with these. Yeah, because I know certainly uh, Debbie Fisher, she'll talk about quite a lot, um, triple heat embossing. So when it comes to heat embossing or triple heat embossing, what tends to happen is once you then, of course, heat it, you just go over with some more of your embossing powder. But sometimes by the time that you've heated it and you're coming back and sprinkle the embossing powder, it's dried too much that the embossing powder doesn't stick. So there is a way around that, and that is your translucent clear ink pad or watermark. So I thought, let's show you that. Let's say you've tried to do triple embossing and by the time you've heat the first layer, it's dried too much, it's, it's cooled down and the powder won't stick. So I thought, let's just show you. Let's use the Oasis. So I'm going to go in with the Oasis and I'm also going to go in with the lemon tonic. So to start with, all that we're going to do is we're just going to get that colour laid down. Because it's a pigment ink pad, it means, of course, that the embossing powder is going to stick to it. Yeah. So we're just going to go in and we're just going to apply the colour. I'm going to turn that around as we're just going to then come along. And what I'm going to do, just so, not that it really matters if I cross contaminate, but I'm just going to take that excess off here. I'm going to do the same now with the lemon tonic. So I'm just going to go in with the lemon tonic here. And then I'm not going to go cross right over onto the blue because I don't want that blue to come onto my yellow. Although if it does bend, just a bit of scrap, just start to yeah, run yeah. it and then take that excess off. But what we can do is I'm just going to use my blending tool now just to kind of blend the two in together. So I'm just going to go circular motions, blend the two of them in. I'm going to then turn that around and then let's just go along and blend that one in as well. So let's work that in together. And I'm going to go back in again. And we can then just blend that one in. So we can now come along, Ben, with our clear embossing powder, sprinkle that on, and then we can then start to heat it. So sprinkle that on. Let's take and move my ink pads out of the way. Mm -hmm. So let's take all of that off. It's a good I thing with this because it always looks like you're going to use an absolute load of the powder, but the majority of it just goes back in the tub, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah. it does. And that's, that, that's kind of toned it down quite a lot. So we're going to pop that back into there and we won't really be getting uh, messy with ink again. So I'm going to clean that off, just the excess that I can, and then afterwards I can properly give it a clean. So I'm going to come in now with my heat tool. Now I'm going to start at the top left-hand corner, yep. and then I'm going to travel side to side. You will see crystal clear that this is melting. So as I start, top left-hand corner, what we'll then do is hold that over the top, and then as soon as it starts to melt, what I want to do is I want to then just start to move. So I can see now that that's it right, melting. And we're just going to work. We're just going to work our way along. And it takes just a few moments to start with. But once it starts to melt, what's going to happen is it's just going to start to melt a lot quicker. And I and noticed all... you're like holding it steady rather than like wafting it like you do with yeah. the hairdryer. 
So when it comes to heat in Boston, don't waft it. No. Because that extra waft is then it could potentially blow all of the powder off. And what it's also doing, it's giving it an uneven heat source. Because if you're wafting it about, it's not getting that direct heat. In actual fact, it's getting a lot less heat because it's getting that uh, motion of the cold air blowing. So therefore, you want to go really, really still. As soon as it melts, you're going to just travel down. So don't stay over the area, because then it can start to bubble, it can start to scorch. So therefore, it's why it's key that as soon as it melts, you're just moving. And you can see already now, it's a lot quicker than when I started off at the top. We're just going to travel. But this has had more time to heat set and dry. Yeah. So that if I were to come and sprinkle embossing powder over the top, most of that has cooled by now. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the powder, it'll stick down there, Ben, but what will happen is it will uh, just fall off right. at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our translucent clear ink pad. Okay. And we're just going to tap straight over the top. So essentially what we're doing, Ben, is we're making it sticky again. Okay. We're making it sticky. And what happens too is the fact that when you have seen from over the top, you can see that it's quite, it's quite bubbly and mm -hmm. it's quite textured mm -hmm. that you can see. The more that you do it, we say triple emboss. If you want to do it four times, if you want to do it five times, you can do that. But, but you always suggest that three is, there's, no, there's almost no benefit going any further than that, is there? It depends on the size. Oh, okay. It depends on the size. You usually find that the third time is more than enough for you to then get the desired look, that nice, smooth look. Because the more you do it, the smoother that it's going to get. Mm -hmm. And by about the third time, it's nice and smooth. So you just keep repeating that step. So what we're happening now is we're working our way along and this will slightly smooth out because we are melting that top layer of the embossing powder. But what it's also doing, Ben, is it's remelting that base layer. Yeah. So therefore it's giving it a nice, smooth, glossy feel. So we just work our way along Nothing changes in the way that we've applied the powder, the way that we are heating it. All that we're doing is we're going straight over the top, doing exactly what we've done, and we're starting to get an even smoother consistency. So you just follow and travel, take your time, but still key that as soon as it's melted, yeah, that you're on. just traveling along. It looks like a beach scene background. <laughs> it does actually, there. doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Really cool. And this will, in the end, this will give you the same effect as if you have taken, you know, our glossy highlights mm -hmm. and brushed it across a backdrop. And you can do this with patterned paper as well if you want. It doesn't have to be ink. The only difference is if you're doing it with patterned paper, Ben, you're not going to use an ink pad. You're just going to go straight on with your watermark ink pad. Yeah. So if I show you that now. So that's two layers now, right? That's two layers. But see how oh. smoother that that, how much smoother that that is. It almost looks like, well, that's exactly the word I was looking for. Thank you. It looks like it's been laminated. This is what, exactly what it's like, yeah. yeah. But we're going to go in with a third time. So let's go in with a third time. Do seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. But going on, and already from that second application, Ben, you can see how smooth, and that's why we call it triple emboss, because by the third time, the triple time, it really, really is completely smooth, and there's no need to do any more layers. You can if you want, but there really, really isn't any need to. So we're just going to sprinkle over the top. We're going to go over. We're just going to then give that a nice sprinkle so that we're spreading out that powder over the whole lot, tap that excess off, put the rest of it in. Let's bring that back in. And for the final time there, Ben, mm. we're going to heat set that and, once again. And just to, for my mind, so if you were doing like a smaller element, uh, area of your card, or if you're just like um, heat embossing a sentiment, for example, you wouldn't need to apply the um, ink, would you? No. 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 Because you wouldn't be... Because you're doing it over a larger surface Ex here, aren't you? That's, so that's it. the reason why. Exactly. So if it was a smaller area, a smaller design, all that you would do is ink it, 
pour the powder, melt it, and as soon as you've finished melting, pour Pulls the powder back, back over the top. Because yeah. you've not given it long enough to dry. Whereas the size of this, by the time you get to the bottom, the top's cooled down, and it's, it might still feel warm, but it's cooled too much that the powder's not going to stick to it. So therefore, if it is a larger surface like that, come along with your translucent clear, and then heat set it, and then by this third time, I can already see the difference. This time, completely smooth. So, so smooth that you can then use this as a backdrop for a scene of a card or a project. A um, question from Pat, which is a good question, actually. Will Craig be able to die cut this paper now without it cracking, or would the emboss crack if you die cut it? So I, I wouldn't... It, uh, I, oh, emboss it, did you say? I wouldn't emboss. No, Sid, would Craig be able to die cut oh, this die without cut. cracking the emboss? Uh, I wouldn't use an overly intricate die cut, mm. but you can still come along and use... A bigger uh, die. ...simplistic dies mm. to then, of course, die cut it with. But look that at that. It literally does look like the seaside now. I want to go there. So, so smooth. Mm -hmm. Triple emboss. And think about that textured look that we had with the first time that we've melted. And now we've got that triple embossed look that you can see there. So that's what you can do when it comes to your pigment. Brilliant. And you're going to get the six-piece set of your pigment ink pads with those blending tools. £24 or $32 is your platinum price. Um, those colours for the ink pads are nice and bright. I love them, says Sarah Muir. And B says, I have both those colours. The yellow is lovely. Give it a go. You know, have mm. a play. Um, you know, see, see what you, um, you make of yours. Uh, heat embossing, says Sil Sparkly. So mesmerising to watch. Let's have a look at a deal which is still proving very, very popular indeed, which is the Simon Stash and Stack Storage. I still call it Simon. It's not actually, as you'll see, with the details coming up here. It's not actually uh, the Simon Stash and Stack. It's just the Stash and Stack, but he was the guy who came up with the idea. Um, and it's brilliant because what you are getting is this amazing storage system which is going to allow you to store all of your crafty goodies or non-crafty goodies in bespoke little containment areas if you like because you have got the little slats here the little dividers which allow you to create the space so whatever you're storing in here um, you can create little uh, dividers to be able to do that so whether it be crafty items um, you can as we talked about earlier on the floral creation set which we've got launching tomorrow that does come with its own um, little box but maybe you're making a ton of those flowers and you want more um, storage for them then you've got the ability to be able to do that no problem if you don't want to have the little slats in here you you can take them out no problem they all come out so then you've just got a big um, area then to be able to store lots of other bits and pieces in maybe you want to store some of your um, your card stock in here uh, maybe you want to store bigger crafty tools it's entirely up to you or if you're chatting about maybe you're going to buy a few of these for craft and you're thinking then about buying some of these to store in things like um DIY tools, maybe nuts and bolts and screws, all those kind of things if there's a DIYer in your family. Maybe if you go camping, these would be absolutely perfect for storing some um, camping equipment. First aid kits, again, absolutely brilliant for popping in all the different bits and pieces within the box. If you've got kids, you know what it's like. They, they get. I always think of the building blocks first of all, and secondly, if your um, kids or grandkids are into like the Barbie and the Cindy dolls, all of the little accessories that they get, all of the shoes and stuff, it could be like Barbie or Cindy's wardrobe, or as um, Nicola just said in my ear, it could be her wardrobe. It's, that, that's what it could be, but it's great for all of those little bits and pieces that kids, you know, they get, they get flung around the room, don't they? They um, get lost, they get lost under the bed, lost down the back of the um, cupboard, whatever it might be. This is a great way to store them. You've got the um, double lock handles on the side, and once those are locked and in place, then everything is going to stay super secure. And I know we were mucking about earlier on, but the whole point with this is it's one of those things that you can literally pop your bits and pieces into, rugby uh, pass it into the back of your car, and it's going to um, it's going to stay all nice and supported and stored in there. The deal here, though, is not twenty pounds or twenty eight dollars just for the stash and stack storage box. No, 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 no. You're also going to get within this kit your yeah. glitter glue. Yeah, you're going to get your glitter glue in the precious pastels, precious pastels, as Craig was saying a little bit earlier on. So if you love to add um, embellishment to your projects, then these are uh, absolutely beautiful. The three colours that you've got in there, as you can see. You're also going to receive your ballpoint glue pen set. Absolutely brilliant, again, for adding little layers of embellishment to your projects. This is the glue that comes out blue. 
Um, and so once it's dried, the blue disappears and uh, then you've got your tacky area for sticking your glitters for sticking things like your gilding flakes. I love the idea again, seeing demos of the guys like writing little messages and then adding glitter and gilding flakes over the top to create like a little sparkly message. Absolutely easy to do that. You get the five pens included in there um, for the detailed application. And that is where you stop paying because we're then going to give you for free um, your straight craft knife. We do have the wibbly wobbly one as uh, Debbie calls it but this one is the straight one. Absolutely perfect for um, your well all your cuts really um, and you're gonna get the five replacement blades with this as well. Soft grip, ha so soft grip handle so you've got that uh, ergonomic design with this and the replacement blades is always super handy. Also for free you're gonna get two pokey tools never have too many of those bad boys. I know we did launch the slightly bigger pokey tool didn't we within the um, essentials collection around about birthday i think that was mm -hmm. yes um but these are like pens aren't they you know they, they get lost they fall down the back of tables you know they fall out of craft bags it's nice to have lots of them so wherever you go you've got plenty of pokey tools and then also alongside that you're also going to get your four tweezers um, and you've got the, the full choice here depending on um, wh what your application is, depending on um, what you're using them for. You've got those four different designs. The one right on the end here, that one, are the what I call like the pterodactyl tweezers, the back to front ones. It looks like a pterodactyl. Do you know what they're also really good for as well, Ben? Go on. You know the dies that we've done towards the back end of last year, the... Oh, you know, oh gosh. What ones? They were like little triangles and you, you fold them. The origami ones? Origami ones. Kaleidoscope origami dies. You know how you have to connect the two sides, mm. side by side? Connect them with the glue and use the reverse tweezers to just pinch inside and hold. Ah. That's why I used, uh, used mine. Well, there you go. You don't use tweezers, you said. No, I don't, but I did for the origami dies. So they did come in handy. Anyway. Craft Room Essential Tool, you're getting it for free. £20, $28 is your platinum price on that deal. I think we've got less than 40 of those to go around, so you are going to have to be quick if you want to pick them up and grab them. Let's see, uh, have we got any more comments coming through? Oh, we do. We have some pictures as well, which we'll have a look at. So, um, Pat says, thank you for the answer. You're welcome. How many colours are there in the opaque pigment ink pads? Is it 36? 37 because there's also a white pure ah, white yes. 37 correct we're gonna are we look at some pictures oh uh, oh it's heather green's valentine project so that is ah oh, so her her initials obviously hg and her partner's initials Oh, we don't know partner's name, but we know it's an SP. That's, a, that's quite a, a unique um, design and done with the floral alphabet letters. It is, yeah, really um, good idea that. I like that just with the initials, isn't it? Yeah, really cool. Yeah. Love that, Heather, and I'm sure your partner, SP, will um, really appreciate that, well. so thank you. Next up, it's Holly and Frank! Uh... Yes! Holly? Holly Collie's got her new jumper on, which I'm very appreciative of. And obviously, Frank, were you here the other day? No. So Frank is Holly's mate, and Frank's got poorly eyes, so he has to wear the goggles oh. to protect his eyes. But how cool does he look with those goggles on? That is so cool. That is adorable. I mean... He wears them well. Doesn't he wear them well? And Holly's coat, I mean, I might have to get Molly a coat like that, actually. Let us know where you got that from, please. Um, this is Hilary, of course, um, who's Holly Collie, and then Holly's best friend, Frank, there as well. I mean, they are... I want to be on that walk. I want to give them both cuddles. So do like I. I want to give great cuddles. Do you, do you ever do this? Like, when you go, and you go back home and you walk um, Clemmy... Uh-huh. Whenever I'm out walking Molly, it's a terrible habit I've got into, but if I see other people with dogs, I talk to the dog first before the before human. I yeah. speak to the person. Yes, yeah. it's, it's not yeah. very good manners, is it? But I can't help myself. You can't help it. You can't help it. You're just automatically drawn to the dog first. Yeah. You have a full-blown conversation with the dog. Yeah. Before you realise that actually it's human owners there as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm not being funny, and if I mean Hillary, I will obviously you know, it'd be lovely to meet you. But if I saw, if I came on that walk and I walked past Holly in her coat and Frank with the goggles, I mean, the human's got no look. <laughs> 
I love those two. They're brilliant. Thanks, Hilary, for sending that in. And what about this um, Rain's picture from earlier on? Wasn't she brilliant, Craig, earlier? How fab was Rain in her craft along? Yeah. She Since said she that she had a blast. Yeah. That's an incredible project, and um, she kind of did her own little twist. She it. did. I love that Celebrate uh, die that she's popped in the... I want to say that's from the garden party. I it think was Celebrate right. and Party. Yeah. And I think she said she was making that for her friend who turns 50 later this week, I think that's what it was. And they were going out for a meal and, meal and bowling, wasn't it, I think? Meal and bowling, yeah, because yeah. she's not bowled for years. Yeah. Rain, that is brilliant. That is fab. I do love it. As much as I love the craft alongs when you make exactly what we make, mm. I do also love it when you see kind of like your own little take on mm. it as well. That is super brilliant, uh, Rain. Very, very talented. Well done. Thank you for sending that. And a brilliant guest. And Stephanie, this is brilliant. Oh, this is, I've seen a message about this. Haven't I? I'm sure I've seen a message somewhere. A message uh, from Michael. Hi, Ben. Steph and Hercule have been busy on our latest creation. Sent you a photo. Those were the... Um, so it's the easel box kit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, from the many shows, inspired from the many shows which she's seen, I'm sure, with the easel box kit. Um, it's a fantastic design. And that... Um, the animal. The animal. That was the ones that we had a couple of years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Sarah, Sarah Kay, Kay designed, them. Design, designed them. Yeah, because you got the, the die to go with it. There was that, there was a stag, there was elephant. an owl, an elephant. Yeah. Yeah. We're fab, weren't they? Absolutely. And I think, is that a little wax seal that she's done? I think so, yeah. Well? How good is that? That's really, really that. good. Mm -hmm. That could be on your next Mosby's make, because that's a bit of colouring. I've already tackled the, uh, the box. I know for the next episode, I've I filmed today's episode. I mean, we had a bit of fun. It's not the best thing in the world, but you know what? I have a go, and that's what it's all about, and I have a lot of fun whilst I do it. <laughs> you might have you seen this next episode. <laughs> it's hilarious. But the next one after that, Craig, I'm thinking of doing like um, a bit of mixed media and create what I want to do, like you guys do, like create like a watercolour background mm -hmm. and then die cut maybe something like one of the large outline floral dies and create like a, a card. Like, well, quite simplistic. Nice. But background, die cut, little sentiment. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice to see. Yeah. yeah. So coming soon. No, I don't want to. I, no, I won't. I won't be that side of the studio. I just like to have a bit of a, a bit of a play. You know, get involved. Try and keep on the coattails of these guys. Thing is, I'm I'm in and amongst them every day, aren't I? So you know, if I haven't learned anything yet, then no hope for you. No hope, is there? No hope. Right. Let us get back over to Craig, who is going to ah now show us. How have we even still got this in stock? Right? I know. I mean, there, there can't be buy many it. of these left. Buy it. Just buy it, for Just goodness sake. Just buy it. Buy it. The it, sooner you buy it all, the sooner you're not going to see it again. Yeah, exactly right. And it's got to be worth it for the consumables, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Exactly, because the whole lot, you're going to get the actual uh, pop-out scene box kit. So you're getting everything over 200 elements. You've got the dies, you've got the papers, the ribbon, the gems, the card blanks. You've got them left. And you've also got your tape runner as well. £15, $15. You're saving £13.98 or £9.95. But your platinum price comes down to £12 or $12. So I've shown you earlier on everything that you're getting inside. So I thought, let's bring in the die. And then I thought, I know, let's bring in the background that I done. And then I thought, but I know, let's bring in one of the card blanks that you get included as well. So the panel that I've done the triple emboss in, I have cut that to, or it has been cut, to four by six. So let's bring in a little bit of black card here. So I'm going to cut that to just over four by six. So when I say just over, that's in between four inch and four and a quarter. Then it's in between six inch and six and a quarter. So that's given me my black matte and layer that you can see, which would be nice. Just maybe, even maybe that's a uh, Celebrate die yeah. that uh, Rain had used. Oh, just yeah. across the middle there. And that's all that you need to do and use with it. But if we come in with one of the pop-out scene dies that we've got, the birthday one. Now, the actual diameter of these ones are three and a half inch by three and a half inch. Now, if we cut straight into our card, and actually, let's do that. If you cut straight into the card, because of the premise of the actual die, is it's going to create a 
pop out seam within the middle. Yeah. So it's meant to stay within the cardstock. But then you've got ways around that. You know, your circle nesting dies. I've got some from the layout collection just here. But if I show you how that can then, so that one I didn't put in the magnetic shim. So that's a prime example to show that for something like this, you do need the magnetic shim. Doesn't matter because I wasn't actually wanting this, but it was just to show you how it cuts into your cardstock. So let's take that die again. Let's bring in a bit of card and I'm just going to roughly cut this to a large-ish square for that to fit. So if you want to release that out of the card, so use the die on its own, it's going to cut into whatever size card stock that you've got. Mm -hmm. If you then bring in a circle nesting die, so any that you've got at home that will fit. And the good thing with the one from the layout collection, you've got quite a few different layers that you can cut out. Yeah. So if you use the second smallest one, you're going to get a really fine border all the way around. If you go in with the third one, you're going to get much more of a thicker frame. And then you can see if you go in with the next one, you're going to get a bigger frame and so on and so on. So let's go, let's see, yeah, let's use the smallest one. So let's put them together. And if I bring in my low tack tape, we can then tape that down. So I'm just going to line that up. And in actual fact, let's go for the one that's just slightly bigger. So we're going to go for the one that's the next size up. So let's get that kind of aligned so it's nice and central. Tape that down. So this time we will add in our magnetic shim. So base plate, frosted, magnetic, and then top plate. Mm -hmm. So line that up and then feed that through. Now on the box, there is a web address that you just type that in. That's going to take you to tutorials that I done at the time when that first came out. Yeah. So, you know, you've still got tutorials there that you can follow. So if we then pop that out, we've now got a separate component there, Ben. So we've got that. And then what we can do, if we take the next size up, yeah. And this, this is the dies from the layout collection. It could be any circle nesting dies. It's just these are the ones that I've got to hand. So if we use one of these dies on their own, let's flip that one over. And because that one's a simplistic die, this time I am just going to put my frosted, take out the magnetic, do the top plate, run that one through. So as we run that one through, because that's a bit bigger, what that will give us is that will give us that base, that map, but it's still going to give us that additional pink ring all the way around. So if I bring that in, move that in there, cool. you can see that you've got that layer there. Now, if I had used just that outer die on its own, that would have been a perfect circle to mat and layer right behind. I wouldn't have that outer edge. So if I set that one there for now, let's come along with another bit of black card. Now, if you remember, that one that I triple embossed, Ben, was four by six. So let's come down. Actually, is this going to fit measurement-wise? I think just a no more. So let's come down three and three quarters by five and three quarters. Bring back the die. And I'm going to go as central as I can without actually properly lining up. Yeah. So this is just about taking what you've got from the craft box or any craft box and just play. You don't always have to use them in the way that the, the boxes have been created, Ben. Bring all your own stuff in, have a little creative play. That one, I'm not putting an outside die around it because I want to keep that in my card. Frosted magnetic top plate. Run this one through. Running that one through again. And then we'll just have a little layup with each of these. See how they look. You can come along and add your sentiments, whether yeah. it's the sentiment stamps, whether it's sentiment dies. We've got the balloons. Remember, when it comes to the balloons and that as well, you also get your dies, or you get your stamps yeah. to go with it. So if I bring this in here, 
How smart oh, I love that. is that? Yeah. What I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of scope just at the side there to trim that little bit more. So I'm going to come down by half a quarter of an inch, if that makes sense. So I'm not doing quarter of an inch, it's just half a quarter of an inch at the top, half a quarter of an inch at the bottom as well. So I've done that all the way around, just so that that can then give me more of that triple embossed frame. And I am going to stick this down, but I just wanted to... I mean, how smart is that, Ben? So, it's so, so smart. So good. And then even just coming in with the balloons yeah. in the middle, just there. Now, remember, if you wanted to, you've also got that one if you just want to have that sitting into no, the I'll middle go back. there. I like the other one as well. Yeah. So let's bring these in. Let's bring in tape runner. Remember, you're getting your 22 meter in length straight tape runner included as well. So I'm just going to work my way round and I'm just going to add my tape. With that background, it's like a birthday party at the beach you've done there. That's true, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's exactly what it's like. It works so well. So let's, and because you've got that sheen as well. Yeah. So let's press that in, hold that down. Of course, that could be the sky and the beach, or yeah. of course, that could be the sea and the beach if you wanted yeah. it to be. So you've got lots of ways, or not lots of ways, but you've got That's a few the way. ways. That's so, it looks so you cool. You like that way. Birthday party by the beach. So let's bring in some foam pads. You would just need to add sentiment or so. But if we bring our foam pads in, creating that bit of height, I'm going to add that there, there. I'm going to bring my scissors and let's do a little bit of chopping just to stabilise some of these parts. So I'm just going to do a couple of thinner bits as well, just into the side here. Same width into there. I'm going to do just a couple more again, just to make sure. It's nice and stable. I'm going to do that into there. And let's do that into there. And then last but by no means least, let's put that there. And then let's put this one here. Bring in our card blanks. So I'm using one of the 5 by 7 card blanks that you also get within the craft kit. I'm just going to add the tape on. What I'm actually also going to do is I'm going to change this, Ben. I don't want a 5 by 7 left fold opening. So I'm going to chop that. So I'm just going to chop just the fold of the card. So then that now gives me two separate bits. I'm going to take one of them, Ben, and I'm going to take, just using my guillotine, mm -hmm. and although this is the large guillotine, you can do what I'm doing with the small guillotine. Yeah. And just, just very roughly, maybe about, just about half an inch, Ben, I'm just going to go in and then I'm just going to score at the top because I do prefer a top fold or a tent fold card. So add my tape to the top instead. I'm going to line that up and press that in. So now I've got a top fold card that you can see. So let's take my actual backdrop here, press that in. And then we're going to go in with our layer, our black layer, where we've used one of the pop-out dies, but created that silhouette with the black cardstock mm. with our triple embossed pigment shining through. So let's take these layers off. If you want to use your glue gel, you can do. Yeah. But let's take that. Kudos to you, mate, for doing this as well, like just quickly sort of crafting out of the box. But again, it shows you, doesn't it, how quickly you can pop a card together with this collection. And of course, you'll have all of the papers to play with as well. I know you created that background there, but plenty of papers and cardstock within the box to play with as well. And you yeah, can you do. make cute, quick cards with this kit. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely can. Or of course, you can then just go to town and start to create all of your own backdrops if you want to. You don't always have to use exactly what's in the box. Mm. But if we take that one, and I'm just going to pop that there. Remember, you've got... Let's pop that on. And i tell you what, I've still got time. Let's bring in 
one of the sentiment stamps because you've got all your stamps as well, Ben. So let's do time to celebrate. Yeah, come on. So let's bring in time to celebrate. And we're going to do, let's get in a bit of card. So if I bring in a bit of card, but to even it all out, let's take my guillotine. Let's do, so the sentiment, the height of that sentiment stamp is just over half an inch. So if I gauge ever so slightly, let's extend that arm. I'm going to have a look, I'm just going to eyeball just roughly. So bring that in. So yeah, I'll be happy with the thickness of that. I'm going to bring in my stamping platform. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in a black ink pad. I'm just going to use my alcohol proof ink pad. That, of course, what did I cut that black layer? That was to, is that three and a half? So let's take that strip. I'm going to cut that to three and a half also. Let me just make sure it's the same width at the bottom there. Yep. Move that in, bring in my stamping platform. I'm going to try and centralise that. I think that's central. Do my discs into there, bring my stamp into the middle. I'm going to come down a little bit further because I might just trim at the top. So let's hold that in. Let's take my top. There's a lot of love coming in for this as well. Press. Amazing, says Sensational Sky. Love the card, Craig. It really pops, says Sarah Muir. And this is pretty, says Candy. Please buy this kit. Yeah, please buy this kit for £12 please. or $12. Please buy it. Please. Um, there's less than 60, I think, now remaining of these. And once it's gone, it's gone. What a deal you've got this for, honestly. Uh, time to celebrate, says Stephanie. That is a good one. Uh, and uh, Jossie just saying this is uh, a lovely card. Loving this card. Um, thank you, everybody, for all the positivity. Thank you for the pictures as well. We've got some more pictures to show very shortly. A second gallery. Uh, Hilary says, Ben, Holly Collie's coat is an equa fleece, and they are fab and also waterproof. Mm. I might have to get one for Molly. That is, not me. Not for you. No, I might get a pair of goggles like Frank, though, and wear those, because they are super cool. Look at this. Brilliant, this, Craig. Brilliant. So if we just put that strip down into there... And then if you wanted to add any other bits and pieces, of course, you can do that. But let's just leave it at that. But you can see there, time to celebrate. So it's using black card, but using the pop-out scene dies, using the balloon dies, creating that silhouette aspect by doing that triple embossing on the back. And that was, of course, with the Oasis and also the lemon tonic from the pigment ink pad bundle, with the clear embossing powder. Bind it all together, using the card blank, five by seven you get in the box, but we've changed it, we've cut off the edge, created a top fold card from that same card blank, and that's what we're left with. Absolutely blooming marvellous. Uh, last chance saloon to get the pop-out scene crap kit, or is it? There are uh, less than 60 chances left now. You're getting an absolute steal. And, of course, you get that free tape pen included in there as well. I mean, the deal is just... Uh, it's ridiculous. Grab it. It's worth it just for the um, for the consumables alone. We are going to have a quick break in just a second, but before that, it's time to see some more. Are they all cuddlies? Are they all pets? Oh, OK. We've got a mixture of pets Aww. and... Pets and cards, I think. First up, ah, it's Penelope and Percy. Who did Penelope and Percy belong to? Do we know? Um, they're obviously house rabbits. Um, I, I, Belinda in Doncaster. That is just brilliant. They I are can't. Chilling. I can't quite comprehend it, and I don't know why. What it's like to have rabbits that live in your house with you. Do they, do they, so you think it's just like having a cat, but do they hop around and then, you know, come, want to hop up at, I don't know, if, of an evening and then come and sit on your lap for a cuddle or Give do they just hop cuddle. around and do their own thing? Imagine, imagine that, just the bunny rabbits just yeah. laid out, sprawled out on top of yeah. your lap. Yeah. Mm. The, 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 yeah. Little bunny bullets everywhere. Bunny bullets. Sarah Muir, this is fantastic. Oh, I like look at that. Um, combining uh, bees with the um, scruffy little cat stamps. Happy, beautiful, 
Is that B from the Academy of Colour? Is that from the Academy of Colour? The B. I'm sure the B's from the Academy of Colour, isn't it? Is it? Let us know, Sarah, but I love what you've done there. Really beautiful. And obviously, you've got the, um, the background there as well with all of those beautiful Bs and on. If Bs. it is Ben, it just goes to show how well two stamps mm. from two completely different collections work well together. This next one, Terry H, you've had a play with the um, Easel Draw Kit again, and this is fantastic. I know a lot of people... Uh, this, this was similar to one of the ones that we had on the set, but Terry says that this is a Valentine's gift that she made for her daughter for her office. That's such a lovely thought. Yeah. Be useful to have that in the office as well, because I think those little drawers are perfect for putting in things like drawing pins or yeah. paper clips. And I bet you'd get a lot of people complimenting you on that, saying, oh, my gosh, where did you get that? Yeah, absolutely. Terry H, that is incredible. And last picture, here's a dog doing yoga. Oh, I know his dad very, very well. Her dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, so, yeah, we just thought we'd stick a picture of Molly up. Oh, See that work. little bit, the, the twig in front of her there? That's the twig that she wanted to uh, have thrown. Was it? Yep. Didn't want anything else, like a bigger, bigger, uh, you know, twig or stick. That was the, that was the little thing that she wanted to chase on that day. And she just started doing the traditional collie pose. Cute, aren't they, all the pets? Um, right, we are going to have a short break. I think, oh, just before we uh, do, we've got a quick... Apology. Retraction. Yes, retraction. We made a little bit of a mistake. Any issues, just uh, phone customer services tomorrow morning. Uh, but the flower forming essentials, you get the ball tools, you do get your pack of stamens, you get your pack of metallic stamens, you also get your finger petal distressor, and it's just one pack right. of the flower forming foam you get. It is the vintage rose flower forming that you get. So apologies for that. If you did place an order, of course, uh, obviously thinking that you were getting the other pack like we were shown. If you don't want it, just give Sharon and the team a call tomorrow and just let them know. So apologies on that. It's that full bundle, just not the two packs of flower forming, just that one from Vintage Rose. There you go. Uh, we're going to take a short break, give you opportunity to get your carts and your baskets checked out. And when we come back, we'll almost be done pretty much. Uh, perhaps have a final quick look at some uh, other products. And also don't forget, if you've got any questions you want to fire in in the last 10 minutes or so, feel free to do so and we'll get those answered for you as well um, and then we will also look ahead to what's coming up tomorrow because we've got another busy day here at crafters tv but in the meantime get to the checkout and we'll be back here in about four minutes time When it started about 20 years ago, um, probably a bit longer because I've always been quite crafty, uh, but I got into scrapbooking. When my youngest daughter was born, I uh, decided to do scrapbooking. I got all this amazing crafty stuff that I put into all these pages. Really, I started getting into card making probably about 15 years ago, and then that was it. I have so many people that inspire me, and I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because I'm not crafty, Companion. But Sarah Davis was one of the first people that I got to meet in the craft industry. My mum got me into crafting, so that's my main inspiration. So you can imagine how excited I get when I get to meet Sarah Davis. I mean, when I then got on the design team, when I got to work with Sarah closely. Everything from then on was amazing. But my mum is definitely, uh, or was, the most inspirational person in my life through my crafting. Gossip, I can't, I can't give you any gossip. I mean, that's between us. Uh, do you know what? We were just literally in the green room. Uh, uh, everyone, it's just been done out and John's been in there and it's its become this place where everyone just comes in and it's just this gossip fest uh, and it's amazing because we're all such good friends, genuinely, and I know you all know that, uh, but we have the most amazing time between us all. Me and Craig bounce off each other because we're very similar in our crafty ways, um, but also me and Debbie, we're full of giggles and uh, me and Jan and Karina and Michelle, everybody that I work with is amazing uh, on the set and off the set. It's just incredible to, uh, to work at Crafts Companion. Non-craft facts, well, 
say I'm a bit of a singer and a dancer. I'm not good at either. Um, when I was little, I did win a disco dancing competition for the school and I come second to a Michael Jackson um, a tribute, uh, which I was quite gutted about because uh, I thought I might have, might have won that. So I used to do a bit of disco dancing uh, and I love dancing. I used to be part of an adult dance group um, and it's something I'd like to take lessons. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays, my weekends, and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And I just sort of sit around with the other artists, and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. And um, so we were. I was making things and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age and we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts, um, I want to try everything so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hands and give anything a go. My craft inspiration as Comes, a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters. But a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, and I've not been here a huge amount of time and I've done a little bit of presenting, I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made and when they've been inspired by the shows. I that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a Demo of the Week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won Demo of the Week. I don't often win Demo of the Day, so to win Demo of the Week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we, lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like, real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. And it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home off cuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of off cuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. 
So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects. You know, it could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. It, if it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new things a try. And most any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. But it hasn't, you know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still, my hair colour, oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a natural hair colour, dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Windo Wyndham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while that I was going to turn white, you know, from, emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for checking out your carts, checking out your baskets. It has been a busy old show. Uh, and of course, you can still continue to get all of those deals. Um, I know we're going to be busy again tomorrow. Looking forward to tomorrow. Um, we've got a craft along with Debbie Robinson, which is the Easter collection. The recipe guide has just gone up for that over on Facebook. So you'll be able to see everything that you need for that. Plus, um, you'll be able to join us. So we hopefully you will tomorrow live at five and then live at one tomorrow. The floral creations um, kit. I mean, this is absolutely amazing for you. You should be able to come your own sort of paper craft florist, if you like. You've got all of those dies in there, tons and tons of dies, 32 dies, 11 stamps, plus you're gonna get your little box to keep all of your uh, florals and flowers that you make in there. Um, plus alongside that, you'll get your um, instruction sheet, which is absolutely brilliant for showing you how to pop all of your bouquets together and you'll get the linen cardstock to go with it too. So your springtime and summertime cardstock for that bundle launching officially tomorrow. You'll be able to jump in earlier than um, one when we do that live. So get up early, grab yours, and um, we look forward to a fantastic day tomorrow. You're here, but not here tomorrow, right? Or are you at home? Uh, I'm at home tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, finishing bits of prep and that tomorrow. I'm going to be on Hobby Maker on Wednesday with the floral creations as well. So just very quickly, just some of the things that you can be making. Yeah, I'm going to be on Hobby Maker Wednesday. I'm going to be on Hobby Maker Thursday. I'm going to be on Hobby Maker Friday. Wow. Not there on Saturday, but I am staying down there because you're going to have me on Hobby Maker on Sunday. Good as job you like well. it down there, isn't it? Good job I like it down there. I know a lot of you guys have sent messages saying, "Oh, Craig, why well, you're not on Crafters TV? You've got me." all week next week as well it's me and fisher all week because someone's having a little bit of a break so i will be back all next week on crafters tv well we look forward to that i will be back with you tomorrow with the lovely debbie robinson as i mentioned it's a great week actually because we've got debbie robinson tomorrow sheena's in wednesday leanne's coming in thursday and friday it's becky schwann so you've got a uh, different crafter each and every day so lots of variety this week and they say that's a spice of life don't they thank you so much to craig thank you to the whole team for a fantastic day we'll see you back here tomorrow at crafters tv Ta -da! Bye.